My name is Shan Shan, and I'm from Audio Research Group, Temple University, Finland. Today, I'm going to present our D case workshop paper, Audio Visual Scene Classification Analysis of D case 2021 Challenge Submissions. This challenge focuses on audio visual scene classification task. Given the input that a clip of audio and a frame of video, the participants are encouraged to design a scene classification system which can tell where this scene may happen, like metro station or urban park or public square. This challenge uses the dataset Tau Urban Audiovisual Scenes 2021. There are 10 scene classes in this dataset, including airport, bus, and etc. And how big is this dataset? It consists of, consists of 34 hours of video and its corresponding 34 hours of audio, and each of them uh, lasts for 10 seconds long. How diverse is this dataset? This dataset is, is recorded in 12 large European cities, including Amsterdam, Barcelona, Helsinki, and etc. And the recordings were performed in multiple locations for each city and each scene class which means there are different parks, different shopping malls. We also provided a baseline system for this challenge task and also pr provided the result. So for the baseline, we used the pre-trained model OpenL3 to extract the audio and the video embeddings. And we fused this information by concatenating audio embeddings and video embeddings into a long vector and then goes to the classification layers to do the uh, scene classification task. And we get 0 0.658 of log loss and 77% accuracy. And this log loss is our main matrix, evaluation matrix here, and the accuracy is the second one. Let's look at the submissions statistics. Altogether, we received uh, 43 submissions from 13 different teams. And out of the 13 teams, 8 teams perform better than baseline. Among these 43 submissions, the top system achieved log loss of 0.159 and accuracy of 93.8. And 15 systems achieved uh, log loss less than 0.34 and more than 90% accuracy. And 11 system uses only audio, with audio mode only, and three system use video mode only. And the majority, as you can see here, 27 systems out of 43 uses a uh, multi-model, audio video, audio video model. Let's look at some general trends used in all the system. For features, we can still find the log mail spectrogram is the most popular ones. And uh, out of 43 submissions, 27 systems use multi-mode modality, including some people use audio plus video model, and some people, they use uh, audio plus video plus text. And those models they use the mostly are large pre-trained model, for example, ResNet, VGG, EfficientNet, and PAN network. Other techniques like data augmentation and transfer learning are also applied in these submissions. Data augmentation including mix-up, frequency masking, pitch shifting, and color jittering. For transfer learning, like the pre-trained model VGG, PAN trained on audio set, are again fine-tuned on tau uh, data set. ResNet trained on ImageNet and Places 365 are also again fine-tuned on tau open data set. Here we analyze the top first system compared to the baseline. As you can see in this bar plot, the green bar represents our baseline and the red one represents the top first system. As you can see in general, in all the classes, the top first system performs way better than, ba than the baseline, especially in the class airport, metro, public square, shopping mall, and etc. Finally, we would like to present some observations and conclusions. After analyzing all the submissions, we have noticed that the video model performs better than audio model. However, the multi-model performed the best, which also validates our initial idea that by joint modeling audio and video information, it can bring significant improvement compared to each individual system. 
Also, we notice that complex models with larger training parameters tend to have higher performance. And the choice of evaluation metrics, whether we evaluate the system using log loss or accuracy, it doesn't affect the ranking drastically. And last, performance on the development data set goes in line with the evaluation set, which proves the consistency of the data set. That's all for my presentation. Finally, I would like to uh, thank all the participants participating in my this subtask. It is really a fruitful process for me. I, I feel very excited after seeing many people are interested in this topic and come up with a better system. And thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>